bicho. Hey guys, I'm running again to catch sunset. Hey, and hey, we see. So, we're almost there. I'm going to the reservoir in Central Park, and I really hope that today's sunset is gonna be as gorgeous as yesterday's one. Yeah, sorry I'm late. Ugh, it was such a hustle getting here. The subway station, there are so many people there. And uh, just trying to get into one of the trains to get between uptown and downtown. And, oh, never mind, it's behind us. <laughs> We're here now and uh, we still have time. A little bit. Okay, let's see. It's very cold today. Hey Jean. Hey Rebecca. Um, yeah, it's much colder than uh, yesterday. We are in a command bus. Look and go. Come on, come on. We are in a. Yes, yes, we call it. 36 degrees Fahrenheit and I'm trying um, thinking which is the best way to get into the park. I'm gonna walk north so we'll be um we'll have the sun room in front of us yeah so 36 degrees fahrenheit and minus minus really minus no not not minus four degrees here this so it's gonna get to minus something later on minus two i guess uh, <laughs> hey guys, I'm sorry. I'm uh, walking as fast as I can because uh, I wanted to see the view and I know I'm late. So, starting the sun. I want to see the view. I want to see the Hey, Romo. Hey, Claudia. today um, look it's a big wall so I had to walk either north or south to find a way I can uh, get in the park we are on 88th street now the good thing is that there are no lights so we can just keep walking straight and oh man and you can see the, <laughs> you can see the colors some of them ah, so we started this morning in Williamsburg Brooklyn and we're gonna end it in oof, Upper East Side Central Park we haven't been uh, the reservoir for quite some time now I'm doing my exercise for today I, I am bundled up thank you Bill but walking so fast uh, you know, I need to take some of the layers off. But as soon as I go into the park, I'll slow my pace and uh, I'll be able to talk with you without hustling to get where I want to get. Basically, these past few days we've been chasing sunsets together. I really like it. I love sunsets, uh, especially if color falls one. Hey, Muhammad. I'm good. How are you? And we've made it. Oh, nice. I think we, yes, we did good today. 
Okay, I'm going to go up the stairs and you guys will have an amazing view. I promise. <laughs> yes. Um, I'm walking, always walking. Okay, almost there. I'm super excited. Yay, finally. We're catching it. Oh, I love the silhouettes. Sunset. I don't know if it's gonna be as beautiful as yesterday, but look at that. It. I'll share it with you later. And look, it's all ice. So you can see the reflection, but it's all icy in here. Ice, ice. Huge, huge. I know, so I'm thinking walking north. So we can see uh, 59th Street. So we can basically look uh, south and see the city, the skyscrapers. Now the fountain is still working, although everything else is frozen here. And there are some ducks, because in the middle of the reservoir there's still some water. Actually, I think the best thing about it Yeah, we're in Upper East Side. We should be around um, 86th Street now, and we're walking. Oh, look at the squirrel. <laughs> we're walking uh, south, and I don't know if you can see the birds next to the fountain. There's a big flock of birds there. Hey, cat!
and we have some on the other side but no buildings there how do i always miss it with the sunset Now we still have some light. Reservoir. This is the reservoir in Central Park. some beautiful colors in it but it's very low uh, delicate good evening Samantha we're getting ready for night time here uh, temperature is cold so and we're on up north in Central Park so there are not a lot of people here only some runners that run the whole circle of the park all the tourists are down probably near Grand Army Plaza oh nice oh I missed that frame she was running there Wait, another one is coming. I'll wait for the frame. I have patience. We'll see ya. Oh, the trees. Yeah, they have a beautiful background now. Come on, come on, you can do it. Somebody is walking. Gonna walk into the frame, but walking slowly. There you go. That's my frame. Yeah, this is not as busy as the city is. And it's getting dark. <laughs> sure, everywhere you choose to go here is the best choice, I guess. For sunset, there's some better places than others, but um, you cannot know what colors you're gonna get. It's very difficult to predict. One of the best places to see sunsets in the city are from top of the rock. I did uh, several live videos from there during sunset. But you are very lucky if you go there. You get like a crazy sunset. I'm gonna walk back up. Mm. Safety one way. Okay, okay. I'm not gonna walk up. Oh, thank you, Carol. You too.
see there's a police car here. Oh man! Yesterday we had an Empire State Building. guide us while we were walking and today's just the trees Miami joined us hello I'm gonna go back to the reservoir I'm making choices as they go I don't know if they are the right ones but it is what it is. Oh, look. You can see all the birds now. See, they're sleeping. Standing on the ice. Pretty amazing how they survived the winter on the ice in this cold water and almost a perfect reflection for the buildings right there hey Gary uh, yeah, yeah just the tip of the building and uh, here the trees are blocking our view to the city which is to my left well the city is all around us but um let's say times square yeah so we have a nice reflection here but no landmarks which makes this frame not as good as far as i'm concerned i'll just keep on walking we'll get to the west side and maybe we'll go past the natural history museum there'll be more lights there and more people and cars and commotion so basically better for this video So the problem of doing a live video from Central Park so late, well it's not late, but it's late for winter uh, as far as the sun goes <laughs> it is that when it gets too dark here there's not a lot to see and then if you're in the middle of the park you have to walk a long way before you get to something which is more interesting but now we have the towers in front of us which make a nice frame and it can guide us almost as well as the Empire State Building did yesterday so hopefully you're enjoying these images and I don't know if you guys hear mainly the wind or not, but it's very quiet in here. It's quiet and so I'll uh, start walking a little slower. You might hear the peacefulness around here. It's very peaceful in here. I'm just uh, high energy now. Look! The ducks are walking on the ice. Yeah, they're so funny. They're all coming. Hey, duckies. Geese. They came from Canada. Hey, Dita. 
Hey, Gertry. Wait, I'm gonna zoom in on them. They're so cute. Where are you going? No, they're all coming. There's like a parade. It's a parade. And, uh, yeah, you can always trust. Oh, there's a heron. Is it? No. My bad. Thought I saw a heron. Remember? When was it? Uh, two weeks ago we saw a heron catching a rat under the Gapstow Bridge. It was insane. The rat was too big. It could not... The heron could not swallow it. It was... It was epic. Look, it's a parade. They're all walking. <laughs> They're all going, walking on the ice and then they hit the water and they start swimming there. They're very brave animals. They don't afraid of people and they basically do whatever they want. In some places they are considered as pests because um, um, when they're breeding they can be very protective on their nests and chicks and they can actually chase you. So, yeah, brave birds. There's quite a lot of them here. I think they're, they're gonna stay here. All the birds we see now, we see in Central Park uh, throughout winter, they're gonna stay here. They're not, they're not leaving, they're staying here in Central Park. We're gonna see them uh, yeah, we're gonna see them whenever we come here or we visit one of the lakes. They're just getting ready to go to sleep. So they sleep together in a colony. So they're more protective that way. Hey, Roger. Hey, Pat. Hello, Texas. They make beautiful silhouettes in the water, especially when they spread their wings. I should bring my camera here one day and take a photo of them in the water during sunset. Yeah, sure. Thank you for joining me in this very laid back uh, tour which uh, not a lot happening around us. The sunset, we've seen better. Yesterday was better. <laughs> well, tomorrow is another day. I, um, so this morning in Brooklyn, I did a live video and I planned on doing another one as I leave the area, but the wind was so strong and it was so cold I just uh, I just didn't didn't do another life from there it was impossible it is so cold when you walk in the park next to next to the East River I don't know it's always and as soon as you go down uh, in Brooklyn in the streets it gets warmer but uh, near the river with the wind Oof. Struggle. Yeah, I'm out and about all day, all day long. I share some highlights with you. One day we'll do a 24 hours live. 
we're gonna walk the whole city from north to south. Okay, I'm gonna exit. Do I wanna exit the park? I don't know. See? Um, uh, so we have two options. One is walking in the park through the Great Lawn and then we'll see the city in front of us. Second is to go to the right, to the west side and then you know walk in the street there. I'm gonna choose what do you guys think? Yes, do it, do what? Um I think oh look at dogs, they're so cute, happy dogs. Oh um I'm gonna walk in the park because there's still still some light left and I think that from the great lawn it will be a nice view. And um, if we have enough light, maybe we'll get, we can see Belvedere Castle and the Turtle Pond. I don't know. Maybe we'll see some raccoons. Ooh, that's exciting. <laughs> raccoons are always exciting. Sometimes you walk here at night or dusk and the raccoons comes out and there's so many, like dozens of them all together. And it's very surprising because you don't see them during the day. They're all hiding. And then they come like big numbers. Okay, it's getting cold again. Hey Frank! Oh Adriana! We're in Central Park. We just walked from the oh here's the city and with the lights on and everything. Um, we've just been walking from Upper East Side through Central Park to the West Side. I'm very close to the exit, which is to my right, but we're gonna go to the Great Lawn. Maybe they should take a lift here. I'll take a lift. And see everybody around me, mostly are people that run do their exercise um, so you can hear them running hey Shelly foxes I never seen I don't think there are, I don't think there are foxes in the city uh, probably outside you can find some but uh, foxes are usually very shy animals there was an article last year, somebody, I, I remember it vaguely, they found a, you know what, now that I think about it, it feels like um, um, maybe it was completely fake. They said they found a body of a baby bear in Central Park, so either somebody brought it there, no, somebody must have brought it there. But sometimes uh, you find exotic animals in the park. There was a crocodile or an alligator, probably an alligator. Somebody released it into the turtle pond, and then they had to come catch it. And as a kid, I remember seeing. TV shows movies about New York City and they showed somebody that had a pet lion and he took him for walks in Central Park which I guess was allowed back then and now it's not possible to have a pet lion in NYC but apparently it used to so people had lions in their apartments and they would uh, take them for a walk in Central Park. Insane, right? Um, so we have some people in the city that raise turtles, exotic turtles, turtles, big ones. And sometimes you see them here 
walking with them, but obviously not uh, only during summer or spring. Not the winter, you're not gonna see any of these exotic animals. Okay, the trees are completely blocking the view. You guys can see some colors, but. Oh, you're talking about me walking in the dark? I'm not. <laughs> I miss your comments because I'm walking and I'm talking, and if I look at your comments, I'll tumble and fall somewhere. Yeah, whenever I walk in the park and it's dark or rainy or gray, there are some people that are, are very nervous about it. Uh, but Central Park is a, a very safe place and uh, I'm very capable of taking care of myself. So thank you, thank you for your concern. Also, I'm not walking alone, you guys are with me. So if you see something, say something. I'll trust you to um, be helpful if I'll ever need it during one of our walks. Okay, let's see if we can see Belvedere Castle. Guys, don't, don't worry about it. No, I think it's, it's too dark. Not wait. Get some light on it. Wait, let me see. Ah, oh, very low light. Huh. Well, we tried. It was good while it lasted. Now you guys can because you're so worried about it you can escort me out of the park and to the subway and I'll have to think about what to do in this video because it's uh, mostly dark I think I'm not sure what you guys see but A more people here left is the, is the theater where they do the Shakespeare plays every summer and the Shakespeare garden and there are public restrooms in here if you ever need it probably close no they close at seven it should be open you guys need to go to the restroom and then from here it's a short walk to the Natural History Museum and the subway station. And just imagine how many lights we would have seen if we walked through Times Square this evening and how all the people we would have seen walking by us. But this is exactly why we have the park here. Oh, thank you, Michael. You too enjoy your evening. And um, yeah, tomorrow is another day. So for January 26th, there is the ice skating show at Bryant Park. It started at 6 p.m. I'm planning to show it to you live. Um, but if there are gonna be a lot of people there and I won't be able to broadcast, I'll just take a video and I upload it for you later on. So that's what we're gonna do about the ice skating show. So this gonna be this Friday 26 6 p.m. if you are in the city you can go check it out yourself it should be nice 
and I hope hopefully it's got, we're gonna have uh, enough connection to go live. Okay, see, we're almost out of the park. Easy, long walk. If you ever need to cross the park, just know it's a, it's quite a walk. You can take a bus to cross from one side to the other, or you can take a taxi. But there are no subway trains that uh, can take you between the two sides of Central Park. They would go on the east side or on the west side, but not between them. So it's walking for you. Or um, usually walking, let's, let's be honest. Oh, thank you, Carol. The park is open until midnight and uh, the police will uh, ask you to leave after that and between 9 p.m. and uh, 9 a.m. dogs are allowed to be off leash here so if you're afraid of dogs it's not a good place to be because there are so many of them and they're all running around which is kind of fun unless you're afraid of dogs and then yeah avoid being here okay this is more live cars noise lights natural history museum That's the subway right there. Let's, uh, let's cross the street. Because there are st still some. Look at the blue colors. I know it's grainy on your screen. And this is why we do so many Times Square Bryant Park walks because when it gets dark, it's basically <laughs> the best place to take a video. Let's go Let's say hi to the Natural History Museum and we can see part of the city which you can see the lights coming from the buildings so it's a nice view. So I'll take you a bit further down. You can catch the next um, subway station. Yeah, the sky is pretty. Actually better than when we started, I think. I'll have to watch the video. But, uh, Okay, I'm learning about the best places to do this live video. I see the I see the Chrysler. Um, it's behind the tree, so it'll be hard for you guys to see it. And that's the. Museum. It should be closed by now because it's 5.30 p.m. Hey, David! Yeah, the sky is amazing. Thank you, Bill. For sure. Always. I really want to go. Last time I tried to walk in with the gimbal, the guards wouldn't let me in. I, think it's I just want to take a video of the entrance. The dinosaur. They're gonna ask me to leave. Oh. 
we'll go in and then we'll go out. you know that but if you get here one hour before closing time they're just gonna let you in for free um, and you can explore the museum which is fun because no wine no you know hustling just walking in and it's, you're good to go I think this was the highlight of the tour today. A glimpse of the Natural History Museum. Yeah, I know this museum. You can spend there hours. It's gorgeous. And they have the special exhibitions, which are really good. I highly recommend them. Even the movies. The movies are great. They're informative, they're interesting, they're well-made, they're surprisingly um, good, very good. You don't feel like you want to leave in the middle, you want to see the whole movie and then you feel like it was so short. So definitely. And uh, no, I'm not talking about the one with the special effects, the 3D or whatever, just a regular movie very well made, beautiful um, scenes from all of them, and they change it every few months or so. Yay! I'm happy you guys like it. I know this walk was a bit mellow. Um, But it is what it is. So fancy. Uh, okay, I don't think it's gonna get any better than this. <laughs> so, we did food truck, <laughs> which makes a really iconic New York train. And thank you for walking with me at night through Central Park and watching my back. I really appreciate it. And tomorrow we'll be off to another adventure. So stay warm. Be cool. See you tomorrow. This is from New York. Bye.